Hello and happy two years anniversary for Planet Zoo, or how they also wrote us in their update, VP Abonibo. I don't know if I said that right. Anyhow, as you know, we have gotten a new bake shop as well as a very new exciting animal, the black and white rough lemur. And for celebrating this amazing game, which has given me so much joy, I decided to do this one-off speed build. It is far from perfect because I basically just had one evening to do it, but I hope you still get to enjoy it. So what we are building today is a cafe and around the cafe is situated a lemur habitat. And I have decided to put two different lemur species in there. One is our very new friend, the black and white rough lemur. And the other is the already well-known ring-tailed lemur. lemur. Both are habitants of Madagascar, as we know. So that's very, very cool. And yeah, I mean, of course we need cake to celebrate. So here I am building this nice little cafe shop and it is going through a lot of changes as you already have seen in the intro video, especially if we look at the color scheme. So it was way more blue and pink, but at the end I decided that it was a bit too much for me. And then I rather went for kind of imitating a bit what the lemurs look like, black and white, but still keeping this very, very, very light touch of rosé in there, just because it looks nice and it is what I usually also would expect maybe from a cupcake store. So that is super cool. I, yeah, I didn't plan to do this, so this uh, came kind of an extra point in there. So. Forgive me if in some points it also will have quite its imperfections, but I try to build something cool, something nice, something that guests would also enjoy, and that's very important. After my last build was rather dark, it was the Halloween Abandoned Graveyard Zoo. If you haven't checked it out, do so now. Anyhow, after that was rather dark, I was happy to just build some little happy friendly place and not go into the cynical dark mode and yeah i think a cupcake show and lemurs are the perfect contrast for that so i think this is more the style you would usually see on my channel halloween was just a one-off special so for those of you who watch me for the first time my name is vivalina i'm very new here on youtube so i'm very very thankful for any comment any like any subscription and really especially also the comments so i can improve and i can make videos that make you happy and my reason for building here on planet zoo is that i have gotten a lot of inspiration from other planet zoo builders and i have spent so much time in the game that i believe that i also have very cool things to offer and also even to show off and maybe this also can help some where they find that a lot of the videos are so advanced maybe that's too much and i'm more on a let's say, medium basis. <laughs> so I try to build off the grid, but I don't usually go full ballistics crazy also because of my laptop. That brings me to the second point. I will be concentrating on short projects, on small builds like the Halloween Zoo, which was a two episodes. It is a zoo with like four habitat animals. It's not crazy, but this also means that you get to get the full experience in a short amount of time. Let's take this one off build. You start and you see how it is finished. The next project I'm gonna build on will be quite longer. Um, I'm already starting on it. It's a very nice surprise. I will tell you all about it when the video gets up. But there I will also build a slightly bigger um, zoo but still not the huge uh, one year progress zoo. And as we are going in the speed build, I have to say, I rarely have used this floor and from now on, I might do so, so much more often, like this path. I really like how it looks. It really also is something that you would find in one of those cafes, you know, easy to clean, but still pretty and so on. So I really loved that and I'm quite happy that I uh, used it and that I didn't just put the floor in at the last minute, um, something I have done in the past once. So, um, yeah, no, I really, really like it. So as we are getting on with the build, I thought it would be nice if I can give you some trivia about the white and black roughed lemur. This is all trivia from the Planet Zoo Zoopedia, so if you haven't had time to check it out, you hear it from me now. And let's see what it brings to us. These news are brought to you by Planet Zoo. 
So black and white rough lemurs have sand glads on their wrists, which they will rub on trees to mark their territories. That's very cool, that means we have to put them some trees in there so they can mark their territory. Even though our lemurs are gonna share their territories, I don't know quite how that would work out. And then the next fact is that a group of black and white rough lemurs is called a conspiracy. Maybe I should have called this the conspiracy cafe or cafe of conspiracies because I think this fact is not only true for the black and white rough lemur but also for any other kind of lemur at least that's what i have heard in the past and then despite their comparatively small size black and white rough lemurs have the second loudest call of all primates and sadly i don't will have the sound in this video i will not have it in there but if you go into the game and you place those lemurs you will absolutely hear it i was wondering what was going on but yeah the second loudest call of all primates that's crazy they are so tiny oh wow and then the next one black and white rough lemurs are generally found high up in trees foraging in the upper canopies up to 115 feet high i have to confess i have absolutely no clue what 115 feet are but that sounds kind of high so again let's put in there some tree and quite of a lot of climbing structures. I don't think it will be that high though because you know the general setup and we don't want them to be too far away from the guests but still nice. And then of course also the black and white rough lemurs are important to the ecosystem as pollinators. When feeding on nectar pollen sticks to their dense rough and face which will then carry to other plants. Oh that's very cute so I think I've missed this one. I think this has to be an after edit after everything you see here because the video is already there. I'm so sorry, but they need flowers. They are pollinating. I think I put in a tamarind tree or two, so it should work there. That's very nice. And wow, that's so cool. Yeah, thank you Planet Zoo for these wonderful facts. It's also important to know that they are critically endangered. So these are animals which are endangered, so we will need to take very good care of them. And as you know, of the other lemurs, they will not require that much space, so it's also nice to make smaller habitats. Mine got a bit huge just because I wanted it to cover all the area around the cafe, but in general, um, you can play around with them. And something I didn't do here, which I usually like to do, is also for monkeys or primates to build climbing frames across the guests. But when you enjoy your cupcake and cafe or soda, you wouldn't necessarily want monkeys climbing over you, throwing stuff at you. Let's say stuff here. So that's why I kept that part out here. Also, from the looks, I think it works quite nice. So if your brain cells have already recovered a bit, I think it is time to bring you more information on the black and white rough lemur. So the black and white rough lemur or Valencia variegata, I said this very weirdly, I don't know how it's said, it's Latin, nobody knows how to say Latin things. So anyhow, it is a species of primate native to the eastern rainforests of Madagascar. As the name implies, its coat is made up of distinct black and white patches. The underside, head, paws and tail are black, while limbs, back and the distinctive ruff are white. Black and white rough lemurs are in 20 to 22 inch long with a tail of around 24 inches in length. Like other lemurs, females are slightly larger than males. So this is in general I find a very cool fact about lemurs that the, one thing in social structure the females are more important than the males so yay go lemurs. And also the females are larger than the males. That's quite uncommon for animals, but apparently very common for lemurs. So the species is classed as critically endangered, with its population further decreasing due to poaching and habitat loss. They are frequently hunted by locals for their meat, while at the same time their habitat is fragmented further due to continuous deforestation for slash and burn agriculture. That is very sad and a huge, huge problem. Let's not get political here, but we all know it and I really like how Planet Zoo also gives us this information on extinction 
undangerous for animals and if you think about it also for our planet. So in a cafe you can also watch how people behave socially and in this case you can also watch what the lemurs do. So let's learn a bit about their social behaviors. Black and white rough lemurs are social animals that form a variety of different group structures. Group size usually varies based on food availability, larger groups splitting into smaller subgroups if resources become scarce. Females are dominant in this species. In larger groups, they may be communal nests into which multiple unrelated litters are placed and protected by all members of the group. So that is what we already mentioned about the females, but also this caring together about the family that's so cute. And since we are in a zoo where food resources will not be scarce because our keepers will go there regularly, it is also logical that we can have larger groups of lemurs which are not fighting against each other but living happily together. So let's get to our last point of education. We have the reproduction of course. So the mating season of black and white rough lemurs is between May and July. Females are only is in Estros for a brief period of up to three days, with an even shorter window of up to 12 hours in which she will allow males to mate with her. Mates will court females by approaching her with a lowered head and submissive shrieks, which she may respond to with roars, bites and other aggressive displays, even when allowing him to mate. That does not sound like that much fun to be honest. <laughs> And then pregnancies last around 102 days, after which the female gives birth to a litter of young two to three on average. After birth, infants are left in a small nest built and guarded by the parents or a communal nest, which is taken care of by all members of the group. Babies will remain in the nest until four weeks old, when they will start following their mother. Weaning occurs at around four months old, although may last up until the infant is eight months old. Black and white rough lemurs reach sexual maturity at around two to three years old, though do not usually begin reproducing by this time. Mates usually migrate to other groups, where females tend to stay in their natal group, though animals may also form and travel in pairs. So it's always so nice to see how animals have some things which we know as humans, like traveling in pairs, and some other things that I think we could learn of, like taking better care of our kids together. But it's it's really cute, I really like it, and of course you can cohabit the black and white rough lemur perfectly with the ring-tailed one or with the red rough lemur. You can even build a small Madagascar island, uh, including those three species, and that's it. <laughs> No, that's that's really cool. I I love the animals. I'm very thankful to Planet Zoo. So I would say I will leave you now to the rest of the speed build. It should not take that much longer anymore. And then at the end we will do a short tour in Tajet Cam. I mean, this will obviously not take that long because it's just one habitat. And then I also have collected some cinematics and I hope you enjoy them. And I will talk to you again at the end of the video.
Let's take our walk towards Limur Cafe. And now we already can take our first peek as guests through the little windows here. So we already see some lemurs running around there. I think I will quickly skip through the window. And yeah, there they are, the little fellas running around together. I think the feeder just got filled, so they are all together there. Maybe from the other end of the window, we also get a nice look on them. Oh, look at them. Of course, I also placed some education boards, you know, obligatory. We need to educate our guests. And also here, the thought of this habitat is to kind of see the two different kinds of lemurs. In between every now and then I will run a bit. I hope you forgive me. I hope I don't make you motion sick or anything. Um, but sometimes Tedget Cam is just moving too slow and I'm really happy we have the running option. So from here, when you actually walk to the front of the cafe, you already can get a glimpse into the lemur habitat. Sadly, this turns out to be the site they use less. So maybe I need to change some things, put some more enrichment items I already tried, maybe long term. More of them will be here. Oh, but there you see one. This should be the red ruffed one. It's actually very quite easy to distinguish them based on their tail and also the overall look. Um, I find the red, uh, white and black ruffed one so much cuter because they look so fluffy. I would love to cuddle one. So maybe next thing I should build a gift shop where you can buy small toys of them. I don't know. They are so cute. So we are walking here and right now the guests don't come here because it's just very far off um, place. But we can take this look you already have seen at the start of the Limo Cafe. But we as guests of course will go upstairs and we'll take a small view from this terrace. I might jump over the tables, I hope you forgive me for that, but some acrobatics are needed. I have been sitting around in my chair too long, so here maybe I need to. Yes, there we go. And let's see, is there anybody there? No, nothing. Okay, as I said, that side sadly gets visited less. But if we go to the other side, jumping over chairs, maybe, maybe I can actually walk around here a bit better. So if we go to the other side, we should be able to see some of the little ones. And let's check. Let's check, let's check. How long? Wait, is there, there, there was one on the, on the climbing structure, so sorry, I will run into the cafe for the better view. Um, freestyling here, there you see, imagine how nice it is to sit here and you see the lemurs sitting on the climbing structures right in front of the window, that's what I was going for. They are not using the enrichment item, so I need to figure out if that's possible, that would be so much cooler if they actually sit there playing the little piano. I think while building also, and I had it on play, I heard the piano play, so it is not impossible. But I still have to figure out how to get them to get there, because mostly they just climb there, like until, until the middle of the climbing structure and then return. I don't know why that is, but it still gives some cool views. So maybe later on I will still adapt the climbing structure a bit. But that is what I built yesterday night, and yeah. Let's see here, let's get a soda, let's get a cupcake and from there, while you are waiting in line, you also get a little view. I'm honestly scared what this will do to the overall experience because people will stand there to watch and stand in line as Planet Zoo people do. But you know, in, normally in a zoo this would be a window which is just like, you know, just stand here for line for cafe and the better view is actually somewhere else. Which is also why I didn't concentrate on making this view like perfect, because it is not the main view that you are supposed to have. It is one of the side views. So let's go out and we will jump into the cinematics in a second. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it, the small celebration of Planet Zoo two years anniversary. I I'm very new here, as I already mentioned, so you could help me tremendously if you leave a like, if you hit the subscription, hit the bell so you know the next time that I post new content. And I hope that I can bring you more nice builds, more nice uh, creative ideas. And soon we will start on a small series, but I had to push this one off build in. And yeah, also any comments, any feedback is highly, highly appreciated. I really love the game and I would like you to also like my videos, so whatever you would like to see more of, just let me know and I will take care of it. Also any feedback of what you'd like to see. And of course I will put this zoo down in the link so you can download it 
from uh, Steam Workshop. Of course, not the whole zoo yet, but uh, this item, this workshop item. So you can explore it and improve it yourself and see a bit of the rough lemurs running around enjoying their life. And again, leave the like, leave the subscription. I really hope I see you again next time and have a lovely day and a lovely week.